right, guys, just a couple exercises for the chromatic scale. Uh, traditionally, a scale you're going to see a lot in more hectic styles like jazz, thrash metal, death metal. Um, so chromatic scale, obviously, we're going to be playing every single note as opposed to skipping intervals and creating more of a melodic feel. We're not going to be doing that. We're playing every single note. So we're going to go through four exercises. Two of them, I'm going to be overall ascending the scale. Two of them, I'm going to be overall descending the scale. And then we're going to have two variations within each. So here, I'm going to be on the A string. Let's just start on this D note here. The first one, I'm going to be ascending up, but I'm going to go up chromatically. All four fingers. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to move a half step up my index finger. One, two, three, four and so on. So my drill is going to be next one I'm still going to be overall ascending up but now I'm going to descend within each individual motion so I'm starting on my pinky so I'm still playing four notes each each run descending starting from the pinky but overall climbing up the scale and so on as far as you want to go next one now I'm gonna start on the pinky and descend again and now I'm gonna move half steps down after each four notes final one I'm going to climb up chromatically but I'm going to move each measure chromatically down so the first one the second one a little mistake there third one actually that was the fourth one but and then the actual third one was so let's throw our metronome on and then work whatever speed you feel you can work Notice you can kind of resolve that chord wherever you want because you're in the chromatic scale so you haven't established any kind of melody yet. So that B right there didn't even sound wrong because I wasn't in any key at that time. So one of the great things about the chromatic scale, even if it's not something that you particularly love the sound of that you're going to be using all the time, it's still great to practice with because it's really going to help develop your ear because not all of those runs are going to fit in every spot in the groove. You're going to have to kind of play around and do a lot of practicing, finding licks and finding solos to see where those chromatic spots sound correct. And it's just going to kind of help develop that sense of obscure melody and kind of just finding your way through notes that are not necessarily in the traditional scale but still can maintain a quality if you use them in the right spot. So as we said, often seen in death metal, jazz, but there's opportunities for chromatic riffs in regular old blues playing too. If I'm in the key, let's say, of B minor, my regular pentatonic position. So you have spots where you could throw it in. As long as you start on the right note and end on the right note, usually a pentatonic note, it's going to be in your classic pentatonic spot. You start on one of those, you can 
kind of get away with running down chromatically and you can still maintain a bluesy feel. So the next exercise is we're going to use more than one string, so it's naturally going to be a little bit tougher. So where I'm going to find the next note in my scale, let's say I start on that same note from before, that D note on the A string. I'm going to count up four. My next note's going to be a half step down, up one string. If you ever forget that, you could always check. Slot up half a step. Where is that note on my next strings here? So now if we play counts of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now instead of playing out of eight, I'm gonna play out of six. So this is gonna be a little bit tougher because the down note's gonna be on a different finger each time. So if you if you try to move too fast, your picking hand is gonna spaz out because you're gonna be on a downbeat on a different finger which is a little bit unnatural at first. So if I count it out, I'm gonna use three strings this time so I can maintain a good ratio out of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one. So notice when I'm ready to come back down, I'm adding a little slide there. So out of six, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when I'm ready to come back down, I slide up a half step. And slide down a half step. So I'm adding a slide at the beginning and the end to make the tempo even. So now we can add those two exercises together. Let's use a very slow tempo so that we can work. I'm going to do out of six first is going to be the slower, and then I'm going to accelerate up to the 16th notes. It's going to sound like this. So I'm mixing back and forth between two different tempos using the same overall beats per minute, but I'm moving back between sixteenths and triplets just to shuffle up the rhythm there and add some more variety into our licks that we're going to be using and abusing. So the reason it's so important to practice the chromatic scale at a variety of tempos is because naturally the scale can become very repetitive since there are no patterns or intervals to define a certain melodic sound. Of course, very creative players are going to be able to sound melodically creative in the chromatic scale, but for the most part, a lot of variety is going to have to come from switching up the tempos. If you're always playing 16th notes, or if you're always playing eighth note triplets, your chromatic licks are going to become very stale. So your picking hand, your alternate picking, is going to have to be in sync with that hand on a variety of different divisions within the measure. So you can add variety rhythmically in a scale that can otherwise become melodically stale. So just to be clear, all the drills shown here we're using alternate picking. What does that mean? I'm alternating between down strokes and up strokes, and it's one stroke of the pick for one note of the left hand. 